Hi, I'm Wheeler Winston Dixon, James Ryan Professor of Film Studies at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, and I'd like to speak for a moment about the war film as a genre of film. Uh, it goes back almost to the beginning of cinema history. There was an animated film about the sinking of the Lusitania. Uh, there were films about uh, World War I, the most famous probably being All Quiet on the Western Front, uh, 1930 Lewis Milestone. Also, Dawn Patrol in 1930, there was also a 1938 version. Um, and Jean Renoir's anti-war film, Grand Delusion, in 1937, which many people consider one of the greatest films ever made. When World War I ended, nobody wanted to, to go to war again, except, of course, for Adolf Hitler. And so basically uh, we have a sort of a lull where people are making pacifist films. But in the 1940s, um, and actually in 1939 when war broke out in Britain, Brit the Britons were the first people to start making war films again, in which we serve, directed by Noel Coward and David Lean, is a fantastic film about the British war effort which started in 1939 when we were standing on the sidelines. And by 1941, however, we're in the war, and we're seeing a series of war comedies with Abbott and Costello, things like Buck Privates, In the Navy, Keep Em Flying. Uh, more serious war films like Guadalcanal Diary, 30 Seconds Over Tokyo, They Were Expendable, and Mrs. Miniver, which was our more or less endorsement directed by William Wyler of the British war effort. <laughs> As the war ended, uh, it still was a very rich uh, source for films about the war. And we have films like Dunkirk, Sink the Bismarck, and of course the great film about coming home from World War II, The Best Years of Our Lives from 1946, Battleground 1949, and Home of the Brave 1949, which is about the readjustment of soldiers who are returning. Who are you kidding? It's not right. I'm not the same kid. You've got to get a hold of your stuff. No, I'm not. You're white, I'm black. Shut up and listen to me. I'm tired of listening. I'm sick of being kidded. In the 1960s and 70s, uh, World War II became increasingly romanticized in Hollywood with films like The Dirty Dozen, which is really an action spectacular, Where Eagles Dare, which with Clint Eastwood and, and Richard Burton, The Guns of Navarone. The party's over. Somebody stepped on the cake, which means that there is a traitor in this room. And then when we get into Vietnam, however, that's a war which takes a while to come to the screen. Uh, we have a film, of course, Taxi Driver, 1976, about Travis Bickle, Robert De Niro, one of his greatest performances as a veteran who comes back with a massive case of PTSD. Uh, but also films that deal, dealt more directly with Vietnam, like Coming Home, a great film with uh, John Voight, directed by Hal Ashby and Jane Fonda, The Deer Hunter, uh, directed by Michael Cipino, which won five Academy Awards. Francis Ford Coppola's Apocalypse Now, which I had the great pleasure of seeing in a rough cut without the narration at the beginning, which was much more effective then with Marlon Brando and Martin Sheen. And more recently, Full Metal Jacket, directed by Stanley Kubrick, Hamburger Hill, also Platoon, and Born on the Fourth of July with Tom Cruise, which won two Academy Awards. And I don't want you to feel sorry for me. Do not shed a tear. More recently, we've had films like Pearl Harbor, which deals directly with the attack on Pearl Harbor. Wolfgang Peterson's film Das Boot, which is about the Nazi submarine wolf packs in World War II. Uh, Terrence Malick's The Thin Red Line. Steven Spielberg's Band of Brothers. Anthony Minghella's The English Patient. <laughs> Steven Spielberg's Schindler's List, which deals with the Holocaust. Uh, the war film is always going to be with us. War, unfortunately, is part of the human condition, and there are wars everywhere, even as we speak. And the war film will always tell us stories of, of glory, of cowardice, of bravery, of fear, of success, triumph, and failure, who won, who lost. War films are about the contest of human existence, unfortunately, as it's played on the battlefield of human experience. I'm Wheeler Winston Dixon, and this is Frame by Frame.